So, what's up, you guys? It's me again. I just want to come on here and say, um, I, I'm in bed right now, so and so the lights out, it's pitch dark, um, on the phone because it's well, not there, but there's a little light in my hallway, but um. Because I have the light out off, because I, I'm going to go to, back to sleep. I, I w w woke up yesterday at 11. My sleep schedule is messed up, so I woke up. Uh, I usually sleep all day again, um, but I had to be up for my hair appointment yesterday at noon. So I had to wake up at 11 in the morning. Um, then I went out with my dad to uh, various places, like out to eat, um, grocery shopping. I uh, got my hair done. Um, so... Um, yeah, the uh, I but I, I was awake until seven, almost eight o'clock, and then I went to sleep uh, before eight, I believe, um, and woke up around one in the morning, uh, and then I've been awake ever since. And now I'm trying to get back to sleep because uh, so I can uh, get more sleep, so I can be awake later, uh, wake up in a couple hours, and then be awake later on in the day until the evening, and then I will get easier to reverse my sleep schedule to uh staying awake or uh, sleeping all night and staying awake all day um <clears throat> so i just want to come on here and tell you guys um uh, you know here's my motto i love this motto so much that god gave to me um we don't owe anything to God. I mean, uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. The, uh, uh, God doesn't owe us anything. God doesn't owe us anything. Yes, we owe everything to God. That is, uh, when I say we don't owe anything to God, that's, uh, my bad. I was mixed up. But, um, God doesn't owe us anything, but we owe him everything. Again, God doesn't owe us anything, but we owe him everything. God already has given us everything. So in return, we should give him everything. He didn't he did not give us everything to owe us. He gave us everything because he loves us. What do I mean by him giving us everything? Jesus, his only son, his one and only begotten son. He sent his son to die on that cross 2,000 years ago for us, to save us from hell, to save us from the penalty of sin, which is eternity separated from God. So that he gave us everything. Not because he owes us, because he doesn't owe us anything, but because he loves us. God has done everything in his power to save us. You know, a lot of people wonder, well, God is all powerful. He can do anything. Look at the universe. He created the entire universe. Yes, he did. And yes, he can do anything, but it doesn't mean that his power, that he works that way. He can create everything, anything, yes, but it doesn't mean that, his, that he works the way you want him to because of one thing, free will. He gave us everything. By sending Jesus to die on the cross for us. But with our free will, we can choose to accept his sacrifice to save us from hell. Or choose to reject it and sentence ourselves to hell. And then ultimately, the lake of fire for eternity. So yes, God can do anything. He can do everything. But he gave us free will to choose. He cannot intervene with our free will. That is what God cannot do. He can't intervene with our free will because if he did, it would mean he would be a God of force. And God isn't a God of force. He's a God of love. And it's not true love if 
you're forcing somebody to do something. God wants everybody in heaven with him. But the sad truth is, there are going to be more people going to hell in the lake of fire than there will be in heaven. Because of our free will to choose. It is the sad truth, but not every, not most of us won't, won't make it to heaven. Um, because nobody wants to hear about Jesus or the way to salvation or anything. So that is that. Uh, it's free will why... It has to do with free will as to why God uh, can't save everybody. He can't. It's not possible for God to save everybody because of free will it is in the way. He gave it. He gave the option up to us because where he loves us, we're the ones who decide where we'll spend eternity. We're not. God doesn't send anybody to hell. We choose to send ourselves there by rejecting Jesus' only sacrifice, uh, the sacrifice, uh, the only way to heaven, which is Jesus' sacrifice for our sins. That is why. So yes. God can do everything, but there are things that God cannot do. So God doesn't work the way we want him to with that in that situation, which is to, he does everything he possibly can to keep you out of hell. What do I mean by that? Well, before I was saved, I should have died numerous times over, but never tasted death because God in his perfect grace and mercy is showing us there's uh was uh waiting was keeping me alive to be saved from that horrific place the people who do die without getting saved however i don't have an answer for that unfortunately i don't know why god doesn't keep those people alive until they get saved but i do know this for sure he gave those people every opportunity they would ever need, all the proof they would ever need to know that he is real and the way to salvation. But those people rejected him. They rejected him and they sent themselves to in the eternity separated from him. God doesn't allow anybody to die unless if they know, until they know every single thing there, that there is about the way to escape hell and everything. So that, because uh, he's merciful and he's fair. It wouldn't be fair if God allowed people to die without having them knowing the way to salvation first and that God is real um, and that uh, um gave them the choice to choose to be saved. Those people sent themselves to hell. They did. So that is this video. It's very powerful. I hope you guys enjoy.